Well, it is a cool night out there for us, and it has been a very cool day as well, below average, and that's the trend that's going to stay in the forecast. But let's take it to the St. Lawrence River with our Holiday Island camera looking at the Thousand Islands Bridge. A very beautiful shot there, even at night. You can see the bridge lit up. I walked across that the other day, and it's a beautiful view. Uh, so if you ever get a chance, go walk across the bridge. It's a lot of fun. Do beware, it does kind of move uh, because it's a suspension bridge when those 18 wheelers go over, but still a lot of fun and it's also a nice night here in a Watertown Forest. Winds are still a little breezy at times, but they're not as bad as what they were earlier today. Winds only coming out of the north northeast at about seven miles per hour right now, and we are seeing clear skies temperatures right there at 52 degrees, so really not that bad. And like I said, the winds will be dying down for the nighttime hours before starting to increase once again for tomorrow. But below average for the high today, we got to 67. Our normal should be at 75. And if you want to be that 75, you're going to have to wait a couple of days because tomorrow we're going to be below average once again. But like I said, winds kind of dying down for tonight. But by the time we get towards tomorrow, they start increasing once again, becoming out of the north northwest at about 10 to 15 miles per hour throughout the day. So really not that bad, but it will be a little bit breezy at times. Some locations right now, though, already down in the 40s, 42 degrees for Wanakina, 44 for Old Forge, 47 Brazier Falls. So it is a very chilly night out there. And then some of us still in the 50s at 52 degrees for Ogdensburg and 54 for Drum. So temperatures tonight dropping down into the 40s, lower 40s for some locations. But as we go throughout the overnight hours, we have no clouds to talk about. Even tomorrow morning, we are waking up in the 40s and 50s. But as we go throughout the day, temperatures do slowly warm up into the 60s by noon. Still a lot of sunshine to talk about. Clear skies in the forecast for most of the day on our Sunday. Now, as we get towards 6 p.m., a few clouds trying to come into the forecast here or there. Highs do top out right around 70 degrees tomorrow. Most of us probably saying in the upper 60s. And then as we go towards Monday, Monday's going to be a beautiful day as well. And it's going to be a little bit warmer Monday. So that's going to be the trend going throughout the week. But if you plan on doing any boating on Sunday, 69 for Lake Ontario and then 70 for the St. Lawrence River, winds will be a little breezy at times. So do be aware of that. But as we go throughout the week this week, our dew points are going to be on the rise. We're talking dew points getting up into the 70s by Tuesday and Wednesday. That means very humid air is going to be coming into our forecast. That is air you can wear. Be aware of that. But with that will also come the chance for some showers and thunderstorms and warmer temperatures. So official start of summer is on Tuesday, a high of 75 for us. Really only about a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms then by by the time we get to Wednesday, 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs in the mid 80s and after that, highs will be right around 80 to the lower 80s going into next weekend. And it looks like we're going to have a lot of sunshine going into next weekend as well. And tomorrow's Father's Day, a high right around 70. And Chris, is it Monday or Tuesday, uh, which is the longest day of the year, sunshine wise? Tuesday. It is Tuesday, but we might have some rain on Tuesday. 50% uh, chance here and there. All right, well, we'll still at least get a lot of sunshine, yep. I guess. Chris, thank you. We'll be back in a moment.